Where do you think you're going? To my doctor's appointment. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> She's lovely, but like not for the doctor. She's gonna get denied disability. Uh, who are you? What are you doing in my house? What's happening? Honey, you have an invisible illness, but we are here to make it visible. You look like you just biked to moon juice for your daily double shot of wheatgrass and CBD, when in reality, you've been bedridden with a flare-up that lasts two days, choking down painkillers and buried under ice packs. We need to see that reflected in your outfit. What are we thinking? This isn't working. What is those? Oh, those are just old clothes. Uh, it's perfect. Oh, no, just stop. Does it need a bell? No, honey, too far. You know what? Don't worry about it. Trust me, I got this. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. No. You look great. You look like a blood donor, and I want to see I need a transfusion. We'll create a pocket with the eye, then add a little red liner under the rim. That way, you don't have to say you're anemic. Show, don't tell. Oh, my six-year-old niece brought a Burmese python to her show and tell, and the class was like, <sighs> are you allergic to any cosmetics? Me? No. No. Oh, no, 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 wait, what's, um, oh, do you guys know that nut? Yeah, no, no, and it's like shell, it's, no, I have it, I have it. It's, You're a mess. It's a mess. And this is great. Charlie, what else can you do to bring out this brain fog? Mm. Now the real work begins. Role play. How would you rate your pain today? Probably between a five and a six. You're always at a 12. Your six would make poor Norma weep. Norma? <sighs> Pop quiz. Okay. Um, my Pilates instructor? Uh, <sighs> no, this is Norma Wachowski, your phlebotomist. She takes your blood at every visit. No, I just, I, I forgot her name. You need to know the names of everyone at your rheumatologist's office. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Judy? Judy! <sighs> She is the executive nurse at the office. Make friends with her. She can approve your medications, get you an emergency appointment, and she holds the key to the prescription sample closet. Ah, the sample closet. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Who is that? I don't know, but she follows you on Insta. Do you know she's single? We talked about this. Okay, we're running out of time. Sam? I need you to work your magic with this situation. We need to get Grace dressed and ready for her doctor's appointment. Let's go! Man, I think we brought her from a 10 to a negative eight. That's like almost dead. Oh, don't jinx it. Oh, it is. <clears throat> is this okay? <gasps> I'm dying, I'm dead. Cremated. Scatter my ashes. <laughs> I've organized your binder with tabs and an appointment checklist so that you stay on track. And we have one final surprise for you. What? You got me! <laughs> it's your best <gasps> friend in the world! Kevin, what are you doing here? You don't look good. <laughs> Dead squad! <laughs> Kevin is your patient advocate. Never go to an appointment alone. <laughs> Now go, 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 go! <laughs> Get that D. For diagnosis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what other D could it be? Okay. Hi, thank you so much for watching our video. My name is Nicole, this is Herbert. He's the emotional support dog. I play Coco in this spot and I also am living with systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis. I've been living with it for 29 years. 
every actor in this spot is also living with an invisible illness from gastrophoresis to MS. It was really important to me that every actor be that was cast be living with an invisible illness because we are not often represented in film and television, authentically or at all. So if you have a story to share or you like this video, please comment at creakyjoints.org slash address. Maybe it's the craziest advice you've ever gotten or um, the which expert did you identify with and why. And please share this video on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter because it's time that our stories be told and that they are shared with other people. Thank you so much. Bye.